Hey guys, Casey Selma here with another episode of the Tree Climber web series. Today we're going to look at the Branch Saver cabling system by Allgear. We're going to do a quick in-tree setup for you. In this tree you can see the weak branch attachment. This branch leans towards the garage so it is perfect for our demonstration. With the Branch Saver cabling system you want to install it like a metal cable so that when it is finished there is no droop in the cable. I find that installing a mechanical advantage system above the branches being cabled helps tension the synthetic cable properly when finished. Here is a close up of how to splice a cable in the tree. I found that taping the end of the cable to a point and using a splicing fid to complete each locking brummel works best for me. The first locking brummel should be started no less than two times the diameter of the stem you are cabling to. This allows distance for the stem to grow and also reduces the pressure on the first locking brummel. On my fit I taped the mark at approximately two inches to help me measure the distance between each locking brummel. Make sure there is no twist in the cable at the splicing and should look as shown. Make sure you complete 5 locking brummels before tying the end off. To tighten and loosen the cable requires little effort. Slip the cable through the chafe sleeve. The standard chafe sleeve shown here is best used when a branch union is present to prevent the cable from sliding down the stem. Make sure to leave enough cable so that five locking brummels spaced two inches apart can be spliced. Also make sure to leave some extra for future adjustments. Splice the locking brummels as demonstrated earlier. When complete, tie the cable off to itself. Now for the other end of the cable, a heavy duty chafe sleeve was used because it works best when no branch unions are present. The green side of the chafe sleeve should be placed against the bark because it has a texture that will grip the tree preventing it from sliding. When splicing the opposite end of the cable, it is done like the first side with one exception. When you complete your first locking bremel, temporarily tighten it up to make sure the two times the stem diameter rule is applied. Then loosen up the cable because splicing each locking bremel can be installed easier when there is no tension. I find that leaving some slack as shown in each locking brummel makes it easier for the tightening process later. 
When all five locking brembles are completed, tighten the one closest to the stem first, and then make your way outward as shown. I find it works best for me to tighten the cable this way. The branch saver has an approximate tensile of 10,200 pounds. Then finish off by tying it off to itself. Cut and tape the excess cable if too much remains. Remove the mechanical advantage system and check the tension of the cable. The cable should be neither too tight or too loose. With branch saver being black, it blends well with the tree and will not show dirt.